Hi everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. Before we get started, be sure to check out my website listed down below. You're going to find a lot of wonderful free resources and SVGs there, as well as you are able to sign up for my monthly newsletter. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun crafty things we have coming or other really fun stuff that is going on in the craft world. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about some great ways that you can make money using your Cricut. Now, these are going to be a little bit more out of the box than I think that you're used to, but I know from experience that these are great ways to make really good income using your Cricut. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. Now, let me just start off this by saying, do not buy a Cricut and assume that you are going to make a six-figure income. That's not true for everybody, but if you work at it, it can definitely happen. Also, be sure that you really know what you're doing and how to make the items that you're making before you commit to taking money from people to make those items. You want to make sure that what you produce is high quality, that way you have return customers People are more likely to give a bad review than to give a good review, so just make sure that your products are top notch. Another thing I want to mention is to make sure that you're setting achievable goals. Whether that is to pay off your car or to maybe make $100 that month, something like that. But by setting goals, it's going to motivate you to really continue on with your business and keep pushing to further your goals. That's one thing that I have done every single month is I make a goal and it's wonderful to celebrate it when you hit it. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is one great way to make money with your Cricut that is definitely outside of the realm of what I see most people doing. Make accessories for other crafts. So by that, I mean things like felt eyes for crochet. I make those, I sell the SVGs for those, and they do really, really well. You can also make tags for beanies, which are great, especially when fall season comes around. There are so many people that use knitting machines, hand knit, crochet, and make really cute beanies, and they need little tags to go on them. And they can make the tags customizable, so it's a great way for you to use your Cricut that you can cut the faux leather, you can make the HTV, everything can be done from the Cricut. And then you can even provide the Chicago screws that go with it and you've sell them a whole kit and you've made quite a bit of money because it's pretty inexpensive to make those items because they are quite small. So you can fit a lot of those items on a single sheet of faux leather and it's so much fun to make those. Definitely get involved in some of those knitting and crochet groups and that's going to be a great way to start building your business. Find a friend who maybe makes those hats or buy a couple blank ones off of Etsy or Amazon and add your tags to those for photos if you don't have one already. That way people can see what your items look like and it's really a great way to show off what you can do with your Cricut that's maybe a little bit unconventional. There are so many other types of crafts that can use these extra accessories. Whether you are making tags with people's logos on them for craft shows, you can make backers for people's earrings and things like that, keychains, badge reels, all sorts of things. But it's a great way to kind of think outside of that vinyl personalization box and work with other small businesses to give them a well-priced item where you can still make a really good profit and they can have something really cute for their business. On that same realm of making accessories for a small business to use with their crafts, you can also make things for their packaging. People love to have a cute sticker with their logo on them, whether they want to put it on their package or whether they'd like to give it away as a freebie with their item. And you don't have to really like pigeonhole yourself into crafts with this one. You can kind of get with local businesses that maybe want to have some stickers made. You can get with just about anybody, including your local politicians, city council members, things like that. Get with them when they are ready to start campaigning they can come to you for their campaign stickers. You can also make buttons and things like that. So there is a lot that you can do when it comes to promotional items for that kind of a system. And the best thing about that is, is your product is quality and they really like it, they're gonna come back and order more as their business grows. They can help their business grow, you can help your business grow, and it's gonna be a really great synergy between the two of you. 
On the same line of getting involved in business, your local businesses will sometimes need promotional items, whether they want stickers, like I said before, maybe they want pens, maybe they want t-shirts. There is so much that you can do taking a company's logo and putting it on something and then selling it. What's great about that is with vinyl and HTV, you can do so much and you can even expand into sublimation for products as well. As your business grows, I always recommend investing more money back into your business as you can, especially if you want to expand what you can do. Starting with the Cricut is fantastic, and I feel like the next logical step is to expand into sublimation, and you can start doing sublimation pretty inexpensive. But right now, we're focusing on Cricut, so there is just so many things that you can make for businesses to help promote themselves. Cups, tumblers, like I said, t-shirts, Really, the possibilities are fairly endless with the Cricut. Now, if you want to start doing something like that, I highly recommend making a few example pieces. You can just use a fake business or maybe a business from a TV show like, like uh, The Rose Apothecary or The Office or something like that. And you can take those items and say, look, this is what I can make for you using your company logo. This is what I you know, price them at generally. And it will depend on their logo and things like that and the items that they want to use to promote. So for example, if you make a coffee cup and it's a single color, you could maybe charge about $10 a cup because you do want to make it a good price for them, but you also want to be able to make a profit for you. The best part is you can usually get coffee mugs for just a dollar and the amount of vinyl that it takes to make a coffee mug is so small that you are going to make a really good profit on those coffee mugs. There's just a lot that you can do and I highly recommend checking out some of the promotional websites that make that type of products like Vistaprint and Zazzle and seeing what kind of items they make and getting some ideas on some of the things that you can make that a business may want to pass out to customers. Another fantastic idea is to connect with a creator who wants to make merch. So whether that is somebody on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok and they want to take a saying that they're famous for or a logo that they're famous for you can make merch for them and set it up to sell it. It's super easy to do. Now they're gonna want some of the profit as well, but what's great is that you two can work together to really make it profitable for both of you. And you wanna make sure that you always have some sort of contract in place. I highly recommend with that contract that you always make sure that you set how much percentage of the profit is for you, how much of the percentage of the profit is for them. You also want to make sure that you break down all the costs of the materials and things like that in your contract, as well as having dates to when the contract starts and when the contract ends. Plus, you want to also make sure that you have pricing for those products listed in your contract as well. You'll also want to note whether they're going to sell on their website, an outside website, or whether you are going to handle all of the sales. They may funnel everybody to your website to purchase their merch, or they may want to funnel everyone to their website to purchase merch, and you'll have access to all that order information. Now, yes, can that be pretty daunting? It can be if it's a large creator, but sometimes starting with a smaller influencer is a great option, and it's super duper fun. You can be so creative and have such a good time with an influencer and making merch for them, and it's a really, really easy way to make some extra cash and get your name out there. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever watched a show called The Home Edit on Netflix, but I'm obsessed with it. It is so fun to watch them organize people's homes. Now, they have a Cricut and they use it to label their pantry items or their closets and all sorts of things. So what I highly recommend is see if there's a local organizer in your area and get with them. Make some examples, show some examples of the labels that you can make, and see if that's something that they're interested in partnering with you on. You can offer them labels for just about anything, and what's great is you can work it out where they can order directly from you while they're on site, perhaps, and you can say, all right, I can have those ready for you in one day. It just really depends on how you want to work your business and how much time you have to devote to it. But getting with an organization company and starting that partnership with them can be huge. And doing labels is pretty easy. And whether you want to do print and cut labels, vinyl labels, there are so many options to labels. So I would highly recommend seeing if that's something that you enjoy doing and getting with the local organizer and partnering with them. They can always use more labels and some of them maybe either don't have time to make those labels or they don't have the equipment. You already have the equipment, so you are halfway there.
Now this is something that I personally have done and I have so enjoyed doing it, but get involved with somebody who helps plan weddings, whether that is a wedding planner or a wedding event center. They are going to be able to offer the brides and the grooms and, and whoever is getting married different products for their wedding. Whether you want to make personalized favors for their wedding, whether you want to help with decor, there's so many different ways to get involved. The ways that I have done things, I have made banners, cake toppers, favor tags. I have made everything from paper flowers. So there is so much that you can do to get involved with weddings that I highly recommend checking it out. Now again, you're gonna to wanna to test out things, make examples, and show people what you can do before you go into their place of business and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, and I would love to show you my stuff and see if we could partner to make weddings even more amazing. This is a great way that you can kind of get your name out there and make beautiful things, and once people start hearing your name and somebody says, so-and-so made this beautiful thing for my wedding, you may get some more calls from people who are like, hey, you know, I saw that you did this at my friend's wedding and I would love it for my own, so let's work together. So it's a really wonderful way to get your name out into the community and it can be really fun because it's always gonna be something a little bit different, whether it's colors, themes, there's so much that you can do and there's so many ways that you can design. You can use print and cut vinyl, HTV, cardstock, so many things that you can do for weddings that the possibilities are truly endless but again, just make sure that you do have some examples to show before you go out and put your name out there. In that same kind of category is party planners, event centers that do like birthday parties, especially places that do like the bounce house rental type stuff, things like that. Those are great people to get in with. You can again do things for the parties, favor bags, birthday pipe banners, all sorts of amazing things that you can do and you're gonna be able to get paid to make those decorations. Parents will spend a lot of money on kids' parties because they always want them to be special and memorable, and they always want them to have a fun theme. So it's a really great idea that you can go in and say, okay, you're having a watermelon theme, and you can make a fun watermelon banner like I did. You can also do things like the favor bags, chip bags, water bottle labels. There is so many things that you can do for a birthday party. Cake toppers are a great option too. Centerpieces, the extra large characters. There's so much that you can do. Birthday parties really are an endless land of ideas and great things that you can do. And again, if you do a good job, people are going to tell their other parent friends. And my last idea and one that I have personally done is to work with a photographer. Whether it is somebody who does family photos, pet photos, baby photos, they can always use lots of fun props. Wedding photographers are a great option as well, and I also really like working with people who do engagement photos. Because making a little signs that say, soon to be Mrs. Smith, or that my parents said yes with a picture of their dog or their kids and things like that is so fun and so creative. And the great part is, is that the client that is getting their photos taken most of the time gets to keep the sign. So it gives them a little extra, you know, something and it'll help put your name out there into the wedding market as well. There's a lot that you can do with photos, whether it is banners. I have seen a lot of really cute ideas with baby photos and I got to do a banner for a first birthday photo shoot for the front of a chair and it was so cute and so fun. Sadly, I do not have permission to share that photo, but here are a few examples of other things that people have done for birthdays. But it's so fun and it is a great way to really make a little bit of extra money. And once you can start working with different photographers and really making those items, then you are going to be able to keep that income flowing as long as that photographer is working. The best part is too, usually they're gonna want different props for different photo shoots. So it is a great way to keep that income going and going and going. Most of the time, a lot of stuff is just one time use only. So it's super great because it's going to mean that they need to get more things from you. That's really true for most of these items that I talked about. As long as you can kind of get in with these people and get your name out there, you are gonna be successful. But again, I always recommend making sure you really know what you're doing. So don't just buy a Cricut and then start throwing it out there that you can make these things and you've never made them before. Be sure to do some research and some practice. 
Another great option is to offer a few things for free to friends and family. Tell them to make sure that they post photos and tag you in them so that other people will see that you make these products. If you have a friend who works in any of the industries that I mentioned, it's a great idea to get with them as well and to really explain to them what you want to do and see if they would be willing to help you out and get you started. I absolutely love making lots of things with my Cricut and I really hope that this has inspired you guys and given you some ideas on ways that you can make money with your Cricut, which isn't just sticking vinyl on a cup making personalized things like that, but really expanding into a world that is going to allow you to continue to grow and continue to make lots of money. Now, if you need any of the videos that I mentioned in here, like I've made a lot of the things that I talked about, I'll link a bunch of options to help you learn how to use your Cricut down below. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe because I post lots of interesting things, lots of things that you can use to make money with, and a lot of great hacks and tips on how to use your Cricut. I hope that you picked up some tips and tricks here and have some new ideas for ways that you can make money with your Cricut. If you have some fantastic ideas, please leave those in the comments down below. I would love to hear all about them and I would love to share those with my subscribers. I want you guys to be successful, be able to start your own businesses if that's something that you want to do, and to really thrive. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and as always, happy crafting.